guys in this video i'm going to discuss about c program to convert decimal number or to binary format or suppose if i enter 8 or if i'm going to divide by 2 so right here it's so divide by 4 times and add here or uh, it returns remainder 0 now if I am going to uh, divide by 2 again, so it's divide by 2 times and add here remainder again 0. Or now again divide by 2. So it's uh, divide by 1 times again remainder 0. So if you count bottom from top, then 1, 0, 0 and 0. So uh, this is the binary number of 8. Suppose if I enter 7. And if I am going to divide by 2. So it is uh, divide by 3 times. And add here remainder return 1. So if I am going to divide by 2 again. So it is uh, divide by 1 times. And uh, remainder returns 1. So if I am going to count from bottom to up, so the value one triple one. So seven is the decimal number, so it's a binary number triple one. I'm going to discuss what try and method of this program. So add here, this is a function declaration. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here after that, go inside. So add here, I have taken integer variable in. So printer. So this will display into the output screen. So whatever I'm going to enter, so that go to n. So this time I'm going to enter eight. So next binary number. Uh, percent uh, this is for n and this is for dense so when control comes to this point so right here or uh, it's transfer to or uh, this or uh, function so right here n is 8 so now it uh, receive n value 8 now hereafter or uh, that coincide so right here or uh, being Value start from 0 and i value 
let's start from one now here after that go inside while n not equal to zero so n value is now eight eight not equal to zero so condition or true so that coincide bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 into i so bin value is now 0 0 plus or 8 mod 2 so remainder or that written or 0 8 mod 2 into i so i value is now 1 so overall this become or 0 so and here or uh, this written or uh, 0 now here after n equal to n by 2 so 8 by 2 or uh, 4 and i equal to i into 10 so i value is now 1 and 1 into 10 10 now here after that go up and check the condition so right here o4 not equal to 0 that's true then that go again inside bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 into i so bin value is now uh, 0 uh, plus n mod 2 4 mod 2 uh, 0 i value is now 10 this time so again this return 10 oh sorry 0 0 into uh, 10 0 0 plus 0 0 so bin become 0 again again that go on and uh, check the condition oh sorry from here that go down n equal to n by 2 so 4 by 2 or 2 and i equal to i by 10 so i value is now 10 10 into 10 100 now then uh, that go up, check the condition 2 not equal to 0, condition true, bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 into i. So bin value is now 0 again, 0 plus n mod 2. So 2 mod 2, remainder return 0, 0 into 100. So that becomes 0 again. So right here, bin again becomes 0. So at here n equal to n by 2. So 2 by 2 or uh, n become 1, i equal to i into 10. So at here i value is now 100. So this become 1000. Now that go up and check the condition 1 not equal to 0. So condition is true. Then that go inside bin equal to bin mod bin plus n mod 2 into i. So right here, bin value is now 0 plus n mod 2. So n value is now 1, 1 mod 2. So that return 1 into 1000. So this will give 1000. So right here, win become 1000. Now n equal to n by 2. So 1 by 2, n become 0. And i equal to i into 10. So i value is now uh, 1000, 1000 into 10, 10,000 that we So here after uh, that go up, check the condition n not equal to 0. So 0 not equal to 0, condition false. So that control comes to this point. So right here, this uh, return bin value. So bin value is now one triple zero. Here after control go back this position and add here n n value is now eight and uh, this value return thousand one triple zero. So this is the binary number of this uh, eight binary number one triple zero. So n value seven. Oh, so I right this receive 7 control comes to this point bin 0 and i value is now oh, 1 so here after while 7 not equal to 0 condition true 
control comes to this point bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 into i so bin value is now 0 0 plus n mod 2 7 mod 2 so at your or remainder return 1 1 into i value is now 1 so this value become 1 so bin value become 1 here after n equal to n by 2 so 7 by 2 or uh, let's divide by 3 times and i equal to i into 10 so i value is now 1 1 into 10 so this become or uh, 10 1 into 10 10 again that go up and uh, check the condition n so 3 not equal to 0 condition true then that go inside bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 into i so bin value is now 1 and uh, add here 3 mod 2 so 3 mod 2 remainder return 1 into i value is now this time or 10 so 10 into 1 plus 1 so it become 11 so bin become 11 now here after n equal to n by 2 so 3 by 2 it's divided by 1 times i equal to i into 10 so i value is now 100 100 into 10 sorry 10 into 100 sorry 10 into 10 100 now here after that go up, check the condition 1 not equal to 0 condition is true then that go inside bin equal to bin plus n mod 2 so bin value is now 11 plus n value is now 1 1 mod 2 1 and uh, 100 i value is now 100 so this become 100 100 plus 11 11 or, or triple 1 now hereafter n equal to n by 2 so 1 by 2 so it becomes 0 i equal to i into 10 so i value is now 100 100 into 1000 now that go up so at here check the condition n not equal to 0 so 0 not equal to 0 condition false so that go out that return the bin value so bin value at here or triple one so this return now control or comes to this point so at here n value is now into 7 and this value triple one so at here binary number of or n 7 h or triple one that will display into the output screen so i hope guys you understand the drive method of this program so thanks for watching see you next week